What an opening to an album this is. Peace with the stars, HBK Luke here. Hope you sexy boys and girls are doing great, baby. Let's go. Woo! Continuing our Beatles journey, we have a hard day's night, and I should have known better. We're on to album number three, A Hard Day's Night, released in the summer of 1964. And the Beatles actually starred in a musical comedy of the same name, released in the same time frame as the two albums were released in the UK and the US. And it was critically acclaimed. We are at the kind of big point now of Beatlemania. They are the, the biggest band in the world and everyone just cannot get enough of them. And this album also marked the first time we've got soul Beatles songs, the Lennon-McCartney partnership, prolific here. No more renditions on their album. It's, uh, I'm excited to check this out. Starting with the title track, it topped both the UK and US charts, simultaneously making the Beatles the first band to achieve such a feat. And Lennon and McCartney both share the vocals on this one. Album three, track one. Let's get to it. Showtime. It's been a hard day's night, and I've been working like a dog. It's been a hard day's night. I should be sleeping like a log. But when I get home to you, I find the things that you do will make me feel. opening to an album this is and I mean not just the song that first chord which from my research is actually one of the most discussed opening chords in music history there's kind of debate about what chord they're playing how it's played everything that goes into it the whole band contributing um, to that opening chord but very distinctive isn't it I guess similar to I'm thinking of a day in the life we get that kind of final chord and we get here at the end of the song as well, a little bit of kind of symmetry in that we get that guitar chord from George Harrison, different to the rest of the song, but kind of matching, well, it's more this kind of uh, arpeggio chord, isn't it? This broken chord repeated to finish the song. Just brilliant. Opening and closing is just masterful. And then in the middle, we get this gorgeous Beatles song, very distinctive in their sound. I think this is what I would associate having not heard too much of the Beatles before starting this journey, just a few songs, 
this is kind of what I imagine them to be like. It's uh, got gorgeous vocals from John Lennon, and he does the scream out, doesn't he? But Paul McCartney taking the higher parts of the song, the bridge, which I think is great, because he can hit those higher notes in a different way to John, can't he? And I love having the contrast between the two from, you know, from the, the verses into the bridge and into the chorus. Uh, George's guitar, I think he used a 12 string on this. It just adds more depth to the song, doesn't it? It just does something to take it to the next level, I think. You feel the guitar a lot more in this, and it's a great little riff um, because it's got a kind of a mix of this kind of sexy guitar sound mixed in with this very romantic feeling at the same time, which I think is great. And then we get Ringo with those cowbells, very prominent. But we also get a little bit of the bongos in there as well. But it's definitely and when the kind of uh, everything kind of comes out a bit and we go into the, the bridge and it's Paul, you definitely hear those cowbells a lot more prominent. And I think George Martin played piano on this as well. And certainly towards the end of the second album uh, with the Beatles, he was becoming more and more prominent. I know he's the, the grand producer, isn't he? of the Beatles' work, but becoming more and more prominent on the songs themselves as well, with his piano playing. So really interesting, they've opened up the third album with him there as well. And I really like the feeling of this song, the message of the song. Um, A Hard Day's Night, which I believe was something Ringo said after they'd been really working hard in the studios and they're just having a, a talk about their work and he just came out with this line. It was then used as the title of the album, title of this song and of the the film, the musical comedy film they made as well, which I'll have to check out as well. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it on here, but I'll certainly check it out separately and maybe give my thoughts on it if I can find it. Uh, maybe drop a link in the, in the comments if you uh, have a link to that. Uh, I mean, I think this song, it's about the feeling you get around your partner, isn't it? And even after a long, hard day where maybe you're really de-energized, you put everything in, you're mentally drained, physically drained, you come home and they just light up your life. You feel alive, you feel excited. That loving, warm feeling that they bring to your life kind of snaps everything else away and you're just out there to have a happy, lovely evening with them after a long day's work. I think it's uh, a brilliant song and I think it is that feeling we can all relate to as well. So love that we're getting this. And it's almost like a, a shift as well to this more mature kind of feeling towards someone and your partner from the kind of more I guess like teeny love young love kind of Beatles sound so really really like this song I think it's great it's one of the best that I've heard so far let's move to track two I should have known better written by John Lennon and recorded specifically for the musical movie and once again Mr Lennon is on the lead vocals so let's check it out it's track two and it's short. Whoa, 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 I 
goodness. What a start we've had to this album. Absolutely brilliant song. Gorgeous. Almost a, a folky song at its core, really, isn't it? We've got the harmonica to open. We've got this acoustic rhythm guitar, which has got this really nice light melody. And then we've got this gorgeous inflections coming from both the vocal and from the guitar from George as well. I love the sporadic nature of it before we then get the instrumental. And uh, what a gorgeous chord progression as well once it really take, gets going. And we have those inflections, the harmonica comes in, the vocal as well. It's, uh, it's really great. Almost like this folk song that they've then taken to, the, you know, they've beatalized it and created just this magic. The high notes in the vocal as well is brilliant. And we had it on the previous track with Paul, didn't we? And we know John can hit them as well. Absolutely love that. And uh, I just think it's, an, it's a lovely little romantic song while having you know, a hint of the folk, a hint of the blues, but without really going too deep into them, which I think is great. And uh, just to add those extra feelings, isn't it? With that guitar, with the inflection in the vocal and the lyrics, it's uh, just great. And I mean, the lyrics, very relatable as well, where we've got this song about the power of a kiss. And I think developing romantic feelings for someone when you, you kind of had no intention of doing so. Maybe you were just out there for a little bit of fun, a little fling maybe, but that kiss. And I think we've all been in those uh, positions, haven't we? Those situations where that first kiss, you can feel that spark, there's something there, and you know you're in trouble, but in the best possible way, because you know you could well be falling for this person. And I think it's talking about that moment, that moment of realization, and you realize, you know what? I want more from this than I in initially intended to have. And uh, I'm loving this album so far. I wanna talk about the artwork on it as well. I love that we've got the four Beatles, and then we've got all the different facial expressions, just great almost like we get to see just this tiny bit more of personality through each album and certainly the cover i think is brilliant two terrific beatles songs i mean they're only going to get better aren't they as we go through this journey as their music becomes deeper they've had more experiences in life and i guess writing in a different way as well but two gorgeous songs here let me know in the comments what you guys think please like and subscribe and hbk luke is signing